Whoa. Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. No, what is it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's fake, but I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means these stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. You no kidding. It's about damn time. Tell me. When we reach the top. So, I can puke. Let's take a breather once we're out. Let's hurry then. Right behind you. We're not going to get to the surface and find out, like, a nuclear apocalypse happened, right? What the hell did you fall for? I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. You can't be tired. You slept like a log. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. Congrats for acting like a normal human being. Huh? Let's go and watch your step, damn it. Don't die as soon as we get out of here. We've made it so far. Danny, don't fuck shit up for me. Hey, we never did find that Danny bastard. Don't you think we should have finished the bastard and... We don't you think we should have found the bastard and finished him off? I've, but I have no clue of his whereabouts. Not only that, he's been a resident of this building for who knows how long. So he no doubt knows this building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. God damn it. Looks like I got no choice. Zack? You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're happy empty-handed? Here, take this. Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? There's a chip in it, so I'm not sure it will be of any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Thanks. Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the bag. Let's get going. Yeah. Shit! Huh? What's that? Hey, Zack! I've activated the nuclear detonation system I just recently installed in this building. Fucking got it! <laughs> oh shit! There actually is a detonation sequence! Self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Detonation will commence in basement level. Zack, we gotta get out of here. Oh shit, what the hell's happening? The building's going to explode. We gotta escape the building or we'll collapse. Oh crap. Oh no. Cut the breeze. At this rate, we'll be we'll end up burned alive or buried in rubble. Zack. Zack, he's afraid of fire. Zack, the breeze all around us. We're trapped. What are we gonna do? No way in hell am I gonna be burned alive. Zack? Zack? This way! Zack! This way, we can get out through here! Huh? Zack, I know you can smash through here. So I know you got this. Bad news, Ray. My, uh, legs are frozen. Oh, the flames. Oh, 
What the hell? What are you doing? It sure is high, it burns. Fucking obviously! Zach, listen to me. I'll tell you what you can smash. And I'll find a way for us out of here. It's alright. We'll survive this. Move. I got this. Damn, Ray. You really are some. Let's go, Zack. You got it. Let's go, Ray. I'll smash anything in our way. Basement floors will collapse in five minutes. Zack, this one. Nice. Zack, you're right. Alright. Zack, I'm on it. Oh no, we can't go any further this way. Huh? Easiest pie. What? Ah, uh, wait. You know what's coming, right? Get ready! Oh, that was close. Not again. It's just easier chucking you instead. Huh? Not your face all goofy for. Time to move! Nice! Yeah, keep it up. Keep the destruction up. The flames. If you watch a step, we could possibly make it through, but... Hey now, what are you dragging your feet for? If we don't make it out of here fast, we're barbecued! Zack... Okay... It's dangerous, so let's stay so stay close! Oh dear... We made it! Woo! I haven't spread it, I'll let you know if you find anything else that's breakable. Here! Zack, break this! Hey, out of my way, huh? Damn, that was close. Hang on, Zack. I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off. No need. He told me I can break it. Then there's no way in hell I can't break it, right? Right, right? See? You're right. Yeah. Let's move. Zack, this looks pretty cool. Huh? How the fuck do I carefully break something? Just break it how you always do that. I should keep smashing stuff too, yeah? Yep. Son of a bitch. Zack! The blade cracked. Is it broken? Nah, it should be fine. Let's get the hell out of this place. It's breakable. Thanks for that. Zack, we're almost at the end of the stairs. Fine. Yeah, we're almost out. Shit. Oh no, it's caved in. Hey. Ray? Think I can smash through the debris? Oh, uh... Uh... I got this. We'll just say the magic word, Ray. You... got this! Leave it to me. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yep. Holy shit. Zack, your sight. Whoa, she's spent. Oh well, I picked it up around here after all. No worries, I'll just find a replacement when we get out of here. First things first, let's get out of here. Perfect. Good. We made it. Man, this damn building was absolutely fucked up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. Couldn't have done it without you. The same goes for me. 
sec. Yeah? It's the way out. We did it. Now we can finally leave this dump. Sec. What? Once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What are you asking me that now for? Zack, is that what you want as well? See, my desire to die is unchanged, but... But, if possible, I want you to desire it. I want my death to be desired. Though I long for death... The thought of dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. The thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. Although you did just give me your knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you'd survive long enough for me to kill you. Huh? Till then... I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for something I don't desire. You mean it? Damn it, will you give it a rest? How many times do I gotta say that you hate liars? What are you completing my sentences for? When the time comes, make sure you're ready to show me the face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. You got it. Ah, uh, Ray? Ray! What the hell? Fuck! <laughs> How dreadfully terrible! What a horrible mess! Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time until flames engulf the upstairs. You bastard! Aha! Aren't we hot blooded despite being unarmed? What a pity. Your promise to each other will go unfulfilled. Zack. Zack. I'm so sorry. What the hell for? Hey, snap out of it. I made a promise to you that I couldn't keep. Sorry. Cut the bullshit. Didn't I tell you I hate liars? Hey, stay with me. I'm not gonna let you go. You're trapped. Helpless and powerless! And best of all, Zack, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel to have your dream crushed? i just love to know. And after that, how's about we all off ourselves? Shit. Zack. Stop lying. Sorry. For fuck's sake! Don't make me a liar! I can't let you die on me! No, Zack. It's okay. You were always better for me. But, it doesn't need to every time. What are you saying? <laughs> There's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. No. He's no monster, but he's no god either. Zack is human. Ah. You're human, Zack. Which is why... Which is why you need always devote yourself to 
me. Human. So what? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel. But I've devoted uh, my all, my everything to you. The food, clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. Yes, I gave you a place to thrive, and now you deny that. I'm sorry, Doctor, but now this is what I wanted. Then what did Zack give you that's so special? Just some trashy knife? Or was it that ridiculous oath? An oath to ensure your death. Absolute lunacy! Despite the fact I try I I tried to spare your life. Doctor, I didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I wanted to be desired in life. Desired in death. Even for a fleeting moment. I realized that as Zack and I made an oath and strove to leave this place. That was enough for me. Then at least show me your despair. After all, I just snatched away your oath. Shut up. Oh, do be quiet. Let me finish. Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. Uh, this oath. It was sworn by Zack and I. An oath can't be stolen by someone else. Ah? Ah? Even if it's never fulfilled, it doesn't matter, since it's ours. This, I know. Wait, I just can't accept that. Zack, I'll bear this oath. So please, don't think of yourself as a liar. Zack, our promise doesn't have to be fulfilled. Ray. Ray! Ray! <laughs> oh, and Rachel. If you intend to live the rest of your life with those evasive, distrusting peepers, I thought that it wouldn't matter that we can't live together. Yes, if you would remain in isolation forever, I could die now a happy man. Yet, why do I insist on distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it, so it's all over. Your desire and Zack's, all of it, everything! I put an end to them along with my own desires too. Huh? <gasps> Gray! What are you doing? I say, you have taken your indulgences too far. I'm not finished yet. I must take care of it. Oh, Zack, can you still move? You bastard, say your fucking prayers. Save your strength for leaving this place. Eh? Mind your own beeswax. A human will die from this much blood loss. That's the point of going outside if she dies. Rachel Gardner is quite alive. Take her outside now, and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Seriously? Is this chick? Is this chick? Um, is this chick immortal or something? I think you should be asking if Danny's immortal. The building could collapse at any moment, Zach. This place is no more. 
'Tis an unexpected end to this tale, would you not say, Daniel? Reverend, why? I admit I was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. Still, my actions were not a mistake in the least. It was for my happiness and my meddling in the matters of those who upset the laws of the building. Should have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny, twas helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I originally believed Zack to be a crystalline winged being. Those wings, however, have faded away. Crystalline wings? Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure hearted, and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nonetheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another, and consequently his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings, and is now human. Well, it is better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's nearly just a coincidence. What's more intriguing is that the one who showed me that was a child I condemned a witch. Rachel Gardner. Rachel. It was a radical transformation, and quite telling. She was merely a selfish contradiction riddle girl. In hindsight, perhaps it was I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. If that is true, then why did you shoot me? My monitoring experiments have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended. And this shall serve as my inconsequential atonement. Reverend, after all this time, whatever for? Danny, you are the one who brought that girl, desiring to bestow souls instead of reave them. Did you not attempt to become the god of that child? Yet, Danny, you are not a god. And you also knew this, did you not? What else is there for me, then? When I saw Rachel's papers, they were unloving, full of such despair. I longed to shower those papers with love for all eternity. It was then that my once insignificant life gained meaning again. I could accomplish anything to make it come true. I can no longer love those papers. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wretch like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to be someday be loved yourself. No, that's not it. Danny, we are merely human. Ah, it seems humans were the only beings here from the start. Yet humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardner. And those who destroy them are humans as well. Oh, Reverend. What is it you have seen within the humans here? Well, regretfully, what I always see. Blindness, ugliness, and beauty. Nothing more. Oh, and Daniel. I feel the same can be said for you. I only realize this now. Despite you stay here being the longest, forgive me. My time has drawn to an end. Now... You choose to call me beautiful. Indeed. Best romance ever!
Holy shit. This is one hell of an ending. Hey, hang in there. We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now. Hey, we're outside. No, don't tell me it's nuclear apocalypse. Don't tell me I called that. Take her outside and she will be saved. What do you mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? Hey, wake up. Hey, Ray. Wake up. Are you just going to die on me? your eyes. <laughs> so when that bastard preacher said she'd be saved, this is what he meant, eh? Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. That's how it is, huh? Ray, don't forget that I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. And that's how it ends? This bird. No fucking way. That was amazing. Best game I've ever played. Holy shit. See you again, Zack. I promise you that. Oh my god. Zack truly is an angel of death. Date redacted. Rachel Gardner, a girl who vanished during questioning, vanished during questioning, regarded the, regarding the Gardner homicide. Oh my God! Was found near a burning building in city redacted, state redacted, and taken into protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a suspect presumed to be involved in a string of murders which have made headlines in the past years. This time Foster was charged with arrest and charged and arrested for kidnapping, and though he denies these allegations, he has gone on record to admit the murder. Allegations are partly true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt rem remnants of the building, though authorities are unable to identify it. Date redacted. Authorities are investigating the possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire. Though an explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, 
hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect searching, surfacing in the Gardner homicide, the case has now been reopened. Meanwhile, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, was transferred to a rehab facility. Due to exhibiting signs of mental delirium, she received counseling from a medical specialist. Date redacted. For the crimes of serial murder and kidnapping, Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. Figured as much. So, Rachel, is there anything you feel uneasy about? No, not really. So, you're sleeping well at night, I take it? Yes. I see. Well, then. That should be enough for today. Well, my apologies for being my apologies for being late. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Now, we can't just let you do that, can we? Sorry, but Okay. Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel? Wasn't it a lovely night? Lovely night. Yes. On days like this, kids like you should be burning in hell. Da 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 da! Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's best just to hop right into bed. Sweet dreams awaits you. Okay, let's go. Please tell me Isaac's not actually dead. What is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see. Good. Yeah. I mean, not even an electric chair could have killed him. Zack was almost invincible. Rachel, are you scared? Huh? condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who is with you, that killer, you're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. So I'll tell you this, just to put you at ease. It's sort of against the rules, but that killer is to be executed. I see. Is that so? Yes. It probably came as quite a shock to you, though now you can sleep with peace of mind tonight. Yes. Well, let's get going then. Now behave yourself and go to sleep, alright? So that's it. That's how this all ends, huh? The truth is that my nights 
were always restless, and my mind was uneasy. Tonight was supposed to be another sleepless night. All I could do was shut my eyes. I know that sound anywhere. He got out, didn't he? Oh, you clever bastard! That sound is coming from the window. What's that sound? Rachel? It's not someone who works here. Then. Rachel, open up! Ray! Rachel! What's going on in there? Oh no. I gotta call the police. Come on, hit the wall harder. I know you still got it in ya. Get back! Like an angel. Ta da! Zack. <laughs> ah, man. There you go again, making that boring face. How did... Huh? How did I what? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons are made to be broken out of, right? But, back then... I said I'd bear the outcome of our oath. So what about it? I mean, it's not yours to bear, anyhow. Zack? So, you're still... Want to kill me? This is me you're talking to here. I never lose sight of something that I want, right? Hurry up! There ain't much time left. Or did you forget? No, Zach. I'd never forget. Not in a million years! I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Hurry, this way! Come with me, Ray! Okay, okay! Ready everyone, push together! Zack? Please, kill me. Then stop your blubbering and smile.
game threw me for the loop many times. Oh! Oh, I love it! Oh my god! Oh! That was one hell of a finale! Beautiful bastard. Ah. Oh. I love this game. <laughs> oh. I'm just left with that. Wow. Holy shit. That was so good. That was... That was so unbelievably good! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna... Like, I'm gonna finish the sub and dub for this anime. Oh my god! Ah! Oh. And you know what the funny part, funniest part is? I'm recording this and the anime is not even, like, halfway finished for the dub. I mean, it's ha I think, it, from the looks of it, it's halfway finished in the sub as well. It's like at episode 2 from the looks of the uh, titles of the episodes, but... That's aside from the point. Oh my god, no, this game deserves the best of soulful testimonies I can offer. Holy shit. Okay, Angels of Death. I have to say, after playing, like, at first I was skeptical of this game. Farlong did suggest it to me, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna play it for Far. Because he's a good friend of mine. Holy shit, Far. <laughs> If you have more games like this, please suggest them to me! They're so good! <laughs> uh, anyway... The story of this game. Whoever wrote or scripted this story... Holy shit! You are good! <laughs> you are- you are a god amongst men! What the hell? I mean, there are some things I don't understand, like, a lot of the plot was contradictory, but it was all, like, faith and God and oaths and shit. But if you took the time to... I, I, don't, I bet you if I took the time to read through every sentence slow as hell, like, I'd probably understand it, like, it to the fullest capacity. I mean, I have a pretty good idea! It's not like I didn't understand that whole ending. No, I completely understood everything there. That was awesome! That was one hell of a way to end the series. Like, I love how it hooked you to the story by the end of episode one. And I just kept on going. Like, after completing the episode, I just, like, I was just itching to play the next. I was hooked. Oh my god. God. Oh. I am so glad I decided to play through this game. And the soundtrack. Oh. <laughs> the soundtrack. Don't get me wrong. That's that's a beautiful work of art right there. It may not be Ori in the Blind Forest good, but holy shit. It sure did pack a punch, this story. 
Oh my god, this game had me going. This game had me going. The characters were beautiful. Zack was wonderful as a character. Both comic relief and fucked up serial killer. Like, I was beginning to question why I'm shipping these main characters. I was like, am I okay in the head? <laughs> oh. Like, I'm... I may be... I may be a bit screwed up, but... I'm pretty sure there is like a whole community out there somewhere shipping those two. Dear God. Best fucking duo I've ever seen. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so... I'm filled with glee. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, without a doubt. This Undertale was... Oh my god. Without a doubt. This is my new favorite game. Holy shit. Undertale doesn't even compare. This is beautiful. And I'm not about to let the community of this... Uh, of this fandom ruin it for me. Nah. Like... I'm just gonna keep this game locked in my heart forever. Holy shit! <laughs> oh! I haven't felt this good in a long, long time. And I'm a pretty depressed guy, despite what it looks like on the internet. I'm a pretty damn depressed guy. Holy shit! Oh! Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dragging Mavi and Delta. We're we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some watch togethers of uh, the Angels of Death anime now. I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking drag them to this shit. <laughs> oh my god. Well Oh. Uh, I don't know what else I could say for a to soulful testimony. I heavily enjoyed this game. Worth every fucking penny. Oh my god. Ah. 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 You know... Back before Undertale, I was thinking that freaking Corpse War was the best RPG maker horror game I have ever seen. Not even the PSP version tops this. This is my n this game's my new god now. <laughs> Zack is my new god now. What the hell? <laughs> oh, and I don't mean that in the fucked up way. Well, unfortunately, as beautiful as a series that is, that's the best I can do for a soulful testimony at the moment. Oh my god, that's the best I can do. I, I can't stop smiling. Ah. Uh, well, I'm not done with this game yet, don't get me wrong. I want to go back to an old save file in episode 4 because I want to go back to those questions Rachel was asking because I wanted to see more uh, Zack antics. <laughs> I need more of his comic relief. I need to watch him, watch him smash more walls and shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't wait till the anime is finished. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be wonderful! Uh, but anyway, I better go tell Farlong I finished this game. Uh, Far, you better be watching this shit! Holy hell! Props to you, man. This was a hell of a game. Well... Anyway, I'm all time. This video's been going on for over an hour, like way over an hour. Like it's almost, 
It's an hour and 40 se 40 minutes long. You know what? I'm just gonna upload that as a whole. That's the finale. <laughs> I'll do uh, the Zach antics as a bonus. But anyway, leave like you enjoy if you enjoyed. You better have enjoyed that. <laughs> Subscribe Campari for today. And I'll see you in whatever I do next. Farewell, everyone. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go get me a large prop scythe now. Farewell, everyone.